Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite bronzers. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Bronzer is one of my favorite makeup products. I think bronzer and mascara are my top two. And I've gotten a lot of requests to share my top favorites in each category. So the first one we're starting with is bronzers. Um, I will share an overlay of me applying these every day for the next five days so that you guys can see what each of them look like, see how they blend, all of that. I will share swatches as well. And these are going to be in no particular order. I will link all of them down below in the bottom bar per usual, along with everything I'm wearing. My necklaces and earrings and bracelets are from my jewelry shop with Love Sarah. Um, I will link the coupon code. I give you guys 15% off all the time. So I will link that down below as well. Let's talk about bronzers. Okay, I know I said they are in no particular order, but I do think this is my top favorite number one bronzer. And this is from Hourglass. Hourglass is one of my favorite brands. I know it's really expensive, but their products are just so good. There's certainly some that I don't think are worth the money, but this bronzer is outstanding. This is in Luminous Bronze Light. I've had this for over a year. I have not hit pan on it. I'm not sure how that's even possible because I've used it so much. Um, it is just the most beautiful bronzer ever. It has a slight sheen to it. Nothing crazy. It's not going to make you look glittery or anything. It just gives you this really nice, healthy, bronzy, summery glow. It almost looks like a highlight in this swatch but it's definitely not. It's what I have on my face today. I just think that it is the most gorgeous, healthy bronzer. I'm definitely worth the money. There's quite a bit of product in here as well. So there's 0.39 ounces. Highly recommend this one. Obviously I recommend all of the ones that I'm gonna mention today, but this one I really do think is the worth the money. And as soon as this is gone, I know that I'll buy it again. It's just one of those bronzers that I feel like I will always have in my collection. And if I'm doing my makeup and I don't know what I want to wear, this is what I wear. Next up is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan in the shade Tantastic. And this one is also expensive. This one you have quite a bit of product as well. You have 0.8 ounces, which is what, more than double what you get in the Hourglass one. So it's definitely a lot of product for your money. The color is just absolutely stunning in this. I did hit pan on it. I'm really confused about this, to be honest with you. So it comes in a really large pan with a really big mirror. I like the packaging quite a bit because it is thin, so you can still travel with it easily and put it in somewhere. But the way, I wonder if you'll be able to see, the way that it hit pan, like there's almost space underneath here. So I'm slightly concerned that as I use more product, it's all gonna fall and like crumble inward because the product is basically just like floating on top of this with space underneath. It's very bizarre. I've never had a product like this when I hit pan that that's what it looks like. So it'll be interesting to see as I continue to use this how it works. But this is a really nice neutral shade. It is a matte bronzer. And I will say this, I hate the scent of coconut. Like, cannot stand it. The Butter Bronzer from Milani is the most beautiful color, and I cannot wear it because that sh the scent of it does not dissipate. I can smell it on my face all day, and it makes me sick. I think it's disgusting. So if the scent of coconut bothers you, this most likely won't. I mean, I can't speak for you, but it doesn't bother me, and coconut really, really does bother me. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a really nice neutral shade. This is one of those bronzers that you can do some contouring with and then also just warm up your face. I think it's beautiful. There's so much product in here that it actually makes it for the amount of product you get and the price, it's actually not that expensive, which I know is crazy because I want to say it's like $50. Definitely want to consider, especially if this would take up like your whole budget, it could be the only bronzer that you need in your collection and it would last you a really long time because obviously there's so much product in here. Next is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight in Fair Medium. And this is a duo, but the bronzer shade is stunning. The formula is gorgeous. I like the pack. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury's packaging is just stunning on its own. And then you have the two shades and a decent size mirror. 
and the shade again this is one of those nice neutral shades you can use it for both contouring and bronzing up this is one of those colors that i know if again like if i just don't know what i want to wear or i'm concerned about how something's gonna look i know i can always count on this to just look beautiful it blends in so seamlessly it actually you're not gonna be able to see it that well on here because it's really not a super dark bronzer so you do have to build it up quite a bit which depending on the product and the formula sometimes it bothers me sometimes it doesn't with this one it doesn't because it does give you enough color payoff on your skin that it is able to be buildable without caking on product so i do just love this she came out with another bronzer recently that i am dying to try so maybe that one would have made it into the video if i tried it but i do think it's going to be something that i try very soon and i will keep you guys updated on that next from buxom i actually just tried this in a five first impressions a couple of weeks ago and this is the staycation vibes primer infused bronzer in backyard bronze this one has two shades in it um, I will say it doesn't come with a mirror if that's a make or break for you personally I don't use the mirrors that are in individual products like this so it has this clear front and then it just opens up and it, there are two shades in here so one around the edge obviously and then a lighter shade in the middle you can use one or the other or both I've just used both I think it's easier that way personally especially because usually with a bronzer I'm using a larger fluffy brush so to try and get just the middle part is not something i'm going to deal with when i am trying to do my makeup quickly this one has a little bit of a sheen but it doesn't have like glitter or um, anything crazy in it it is definitely still a really nice and smooth bronzer it doesn't accentuate any kind of texture and it still just blends in so nicely it almost feels creamy which is weird because obviously it is a powder formula, um, but I just think that it blends in so easily. There's quite a bit of pigment in here, but I've noticed that even if I put it on and I at first I'm like, ooh, that's too much, it blends out so seamlessly and it's really easy to make it look very, very natural. You don't need a ton of product, which is nice. Um, and I just, I have nothing but amazing things to say about this. Today's actually the first day that I haven't worn it since I got the product which is insane. Usually if I try something new and I like it, it's one of those things that it'll like slowly go into rotation. This one like immediately went into an everyday wear situation. I have one more and then I do have an honorable mention. This one is from Becca. It's the Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. This comes in a bunch of shades. I really love the packaging. Becca's packaging is really nice as well. You open it up and it does have this mirror and then the product. This is the... I can't remember if this is the second one or the third one of these that I've gone through. The color is gorgeous and I love that there are so many shades of this because everyone wants something different. A lot of times I like something that's a little bit more neutral or just like slightly warm. I don't like things that are really, really warm and I definitely don't like things that are cool because for my skin tone, I have really neutral undertones. So if I do anything that's on the cooler side, I look dead. This is what the product looks like. It's really pretty when you get it. It has almost like a wave in it which you can kind of see on the sides here but for the most part i've used it up so you can't tell this is another one of those like slightly warm shades that you really can warm up your entire face but you're not gonna look orange i guess i shouldn't say that it depends on your skin tone everyone is different but this is what it looks like it gives you that really nice healthy glowy bronze look it does have a little bit of a sheen but not anything crazy it's just not completely matte it's just a really nice healthy summer glow every time i wear this i feel like i look like i just got back from the beach and then my honorable mention is from chanel this is my honorable mention because they did discontinue this formula but they did reformulate it and it's out again i'm actually going to test it out and compare the two so i don't know if the new one is as good better or worse than this one is so i didn't want to include this and then you can't get your hands on this exact one so this is the soleil tan de chanel in a universal tan or bronze universal i don't know anyway there's only one shade of this and there's only one shade of the new one as well there's just no way that any shade is universal for everyone so i wish that they would have more shades for more different skin tones so 
that's the downside of this this is a cream formula so generally what I do is I'll take a brush and I will kind of apply it on or I'll take my sponge right into here and tap it in even if I do use a brush I end up blending it out with a um, sponge anyway just because that's how I blend everything on my face but this is what the color looks like this one is definitely the warmest one and I do set my face after I use this or I will put a little bit of a powder bronzer on top I can't just put this on my skin and then let it go because I will just sweat the entire stuff off of my face so this one is definitely warmer than a lot of the other ones I think it is gorgeous though especially I'll do my foundation and then before I set anything I will put this on and then set my face and go on with my normal routine and it just gives you that nice like I don't know bronzy glowy look but it's so natural I love the cream bronzer look just because you it doesn't look powdery it doesn't look like you've packed things onto your skin it just looks really nice and healthy and natural alrighty guys those are my top five favorite bronzers I would love to know down below what your favorite bronzers are I'm always curious so let me know down below in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching Bye, guys.